In this video, I wanted to demonstrate the use of populating a pool using an FQDN versus manually populating it. First, we're going to configure DNS on the big IP. For demonstration purposes, I'm simply going to use a publicly available DNS server. Now that we've created our DNS server or configured an IP address to perform DNS lookups against, let's go ahead and create our FQDN pool. And for this example, I'm simply going to use time.google.com. Select new FQDN node. We're going to leave node name blank, but for the FQDN, we're going to use time.google.com. Service port, we're going to use NTP. And we're going to leave auto populate enabled. There is an option to disable this, and if disabled, the big IP will simply load a single IP address of the resolved FQDN. However, with auto populate, you will see the example and the results shortly. And click finished. And let's take a look at the pool that we just created. You'll notice our pool, our FQDN node, and our ephemeral pool members. Our ephemeral pool members were auto populated based on our FQDN node. And you'll notice now our health monitor is also succeeding. Our UDP query of port 123. I hope this video was helpful for someone. Until next time.